while NATO and US military forces are still busy in the research of stealth armor vehicles. Belarus has launched two T Stalker reconnaissance armor vehicles at the beginning of the 21st century. The stealth tank concept was born in the late 1990s, when a series of military vehicles, including aircraft and warships, were equipped with breakthrough technologies in combat camouflage to cover the opponent's eyes to create surprise. In Eastern Europe, since 2000, the Belarusian Monitor Service Enterprise, with some Russian assistance, has introduced the prototype of the 2T Stalker Reconnaissance Armor Vehicle. This reconnaissance vehicle is intended to operate deep dive behind enemy lines. This vehicle has the advantages of compactness, high maneuverability, monitoring the enemy both day and night to collect intelligence data sent to the command post to coordinate down other units or rescue doubt pilot as quickly as possible. Despite being an advanced armor vehicle with advanced technology at the time, the Belarusian early produced two stalker prototypes. There is no reasonable explanation for its gloomy fate. The basis for the 2T stalker was the largely modified track chassis GM352. 2T Stalker is designed with a front armor that can withstand hit 30mm armor piercing projectiles from a distance of 300 meters. The remaining parts are covered with armor against 14.5mm rounds. This armor is still too fragile for anti tank weapons, while the Stalker must perform extremely dangerous tasks when penetrate the enemy area. Therefore, the vehicle used advanced stealth technology that helps it significantly reduce radar, infrared, and optical signature, and low level of noise compared to other armor vehicles at the same time. The vehicle is coated with a special paint that absorbs electromagnetic radiation to reduce the likelihood of the vehicle being detected by radar. The vehicle's survivability is enhanced by combining with the design of the turret and hull with no shape edges, allowing the machine to be invisible to enemy radar. Furthermore, the Stalker has a mild protection comparable to that of the main battle tanks. It survives explosions equivalent to around 10 kg of TNT. Another level of protection is ensured by self-protection and laser warning squid. As the vehicle is exposed to laser radiation, the crew is notified about it, and smoke flares are fired in the direction of the radiation source. This armor reconnaissance vehicle is fitted with a modified engine of a T-72 main battle tank developing 740 horsepower. It has a maximum range of 1000 km, the maximum speed on flat roads up to 95 km per hour. A hydro-pneumatic suspension can be lowered in order to crush behind terrain while moving at low speed. The 2T Stalker is also fitted with an NBC protection and capable of making 10 meters ram jumps. The combat weight of the vehicle is 27.4 tons. The ammunition, fuel, water, and rations carried by the vehicle provide for a continuous autonomous vehicle and crew operation with a logistics support. The 2T Stalker is operated by a crew of five, including commander, gunner, driver, and two scouts. Designed for a deep reconnaissance race and sabotage operations, the 2T Stalker is equipped with advanced computerized optoelectronic fire control system, which is able at any time to detect, track, and attack both ground and area targets. Versatile range of weapons can be used in the vehicle as an effective anti-tank and anti-aircraft means. The Stalker fully armed with a stabilized 30mm 2A42 automatic cannon and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun PKT. At the rear of the turret, mounted a launcher for two surface-to-air missiles IGLA-1, 
two missiles are stored in the machine. The board niches, turret, and the armor covers are two rejectable twin launchers of anti-tank guided missiles 9K114 Cocoon. Six rockets are transported in special combat pack in the machine. 9K114 anti-tank guided missiles controlled by radio and can hit well armor targets at ranges of 2-5000 meters. Cumulative warhead missiles pierce armor protection equivalent to 600mm normal steel armor. There is also a 30mm automatic granite launcher. Two T Stalker combat vehicle reconnaissance was participated in IDEX 2001 International Defense Exhibition Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates in 2001. The vehicle has successfully demonstrated its capabilities during the lift demonstration. During the test, the vehicle's radar system can detect T-72 tanks from a distance of 6 km, whereas it must be at a distance of 1 km to T Stalker to be exposed. Compared with T-72, the Stalker's noise signal is 6 times slower. The sound of the vehicle only being heard when it runs at 60 km per hour at a distance of 300 to 400 meters. It is the lowest sound level of a check vehicle. In terms of hiding the heat signal, the vehicle's exhaust system is reasonably designed, can only sense the hot air emitted from the vehicle in a narrow range. The unusual design and wide spectrum of combat capabilities of the vehicle had aroused an interest among representatives of the participating companies. The Russian army is understood to have an initial required for a small batch of 2T stalkers. However, it is not yet in service. This vehicle is also being offered on the export market, but there have not been any orders yet. My video of 2T Circle ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.